Saddam Hussein has been captured, but there remains an even greater threat to American security. Those in Hollywood who chose to, to speak out against the war on terror, they're taking a stance against America, which would be not only irresponsible, it's dangerous. John Alvarez created his own organization to fight this danger. Paba. Paba? It's an acronym for Patriotic Americans Boycotting Anti-American Hollywood. Do you have a mnemonic device so that I can remember what the acronym stands for? We print out a boycott list monthly of upcoming movies that we should not uh, support. And there's one anti-American movie that poses the most serious threat to the war on terror. Elf. Santa's coming in Santa! Santa! Oh my god! I know him! I know him! Elf, the tender sweet story of a misfit elf in search of his true identity. <laughs> elf? We find it very offensive that a communist sympathizer like Ed Asner is portraying a character who's so dear to America as Santa Claus. Ed Asner uses the role of Santa Claus to spout his communist propaganda. You see gum on the street, leave it there. It's not free candy. Ed Asner has a long history of speaking out against America. Santa Claus would realize that America is on the side of right in this war on terror. Santa Claus would stand by America. How harmful is this to the children? Well, we hope that children don't perceive that Santa Claus is anti-American or is a, a communist. But it may be too late. To find out how Elf was affecting kids, we lurked outside of a theater in a trench coat. What's the first thing you think of when you think of Santa? Well, Toys. Mm. Workshop. Workshop. So you saw this movie, you saw Santa, and you thought, work shop. The workers. The workers struggling against the oppressive yeah. bourgeois class. Yeah, the elf. This was more than I could bear. Ed Asner had some tough questions to answer. Are you now, or have you ever been, a member of the Communist Party? <laughs> I am truly, truly... Why are you here? Would it have killed you to take a role that wasn't anti-American? What the f*** are you talking about? Tales of the City, gay propaganda, Elmer's father in the sissy duckling, I think that speaks for itself. The Great Escapes of World War II. Actually, that sounds pretty patriotic. <laughs> well, laugh all you want, but one star does not a flag make. I am not, never have been, nor ever will be a communist. What do you think of that? Clearly, I was going to need some more ammunition. If Ed Asner seems to be so fond of the communist lifestyle, why doesn't he just go live in Cuba? Ed Asner, if Ed Asner likes Cuba so much, why doesn't Ed Asner just move there? Ed Asner. I didn't say I liked it in Cuba. Who said I liked it in Cuba? Paba. Who's Paba? Paba, patriotic Americans boycotting... Um, um, the people that uncovered your anti-American activities. I think you're a jerk. And I think those people who... If by jerk, you mean... Ass. Oh, well. We spoke to it, Asner. Great. How is Mr. Asner? Well, let me tell you, he has a filthy, filthy mouth. You heard that. A-hole this and fudge you that and F everything. It's pretty upsetting. I think what you can see from... The fact that Mr. Asner would call you names, you see the, the hatred that seems to emanate from the left. But hatred from the left won't stop John Alvarez and Papa from standing up to Hollywood. Well, if you look at Hollywood and any time they face criticism, they call the person criticizing them a McCarthyite. This is not McCarthyism. You're just compiling a list of unpatriotic Americans. Correct. People still use the term McCarthyism like it's uh, something bad. I want a name. You want a name? Just give me one name, Asner, and Papa will go easy on you. What is your name? Um... Uh, As for John Alvarez, he remains vigilant. I think when Osama bin Laden pops in his bootleg copy of Elf, he'll smile and say, thank you, Mr. Asner, for your support. <laughs>